Down on crime and cracking down on illegal pot shops. At least that's what the state says it is trying to do. In a story you will only see on News Channel 9, I wrote along with the Office of Cannabis Management for an inside look at their enforcement efforts here in central New York. As a sunny August morning gives way to a warm afternoon, Dan Hackney scans the streets of Syracuse. We go out looking to padlock illegal, unlicensed businesses. Hackney runs the state's Office of Cannabis Management, or OCM. And in May, Governor Kathy Hochul gave his team new powers to shut down illegal pot shops on the spot. There's certain factors that allow us to padlock immediately. We witnessed that first hit. We can head in. At Exotic Vapes in the Western Lights Plaza in the town of Geddes. They were taking loose flour here, weighing it on this little scale on this countertop. And you can see, I mean, the, the floors, it is disgusting. And later, at Paper and Leaf Hem Company on Brewerton Road in the town of Salina. An eighth of an ounce of flour, 30. So this is all illicit product here? Yep. Since June, OCM has padlocked 22 illegal pot shops in central New York. 16 in Onondaga County, three in Cayuga, two in Madison, and one in Oswego County. And why is it important to close up these shops that are selling illicit cannabis? Primarily, they're selling products that are not tested and are not safe for the public. Depending on the crime, some businesses are shut down right away. That'll happen if they're selling items that are a threat to the public's health or if they're selling to minors. But just by the label, right. cartoon figure, the bright colors, that would never be allowed in a legal licensed dispensary. Other businesses are given a violation and 10 days to clean up their act. That's our original notice of violation that we issued at that time. New Yorker's smoke shop on West Half Road in the town of Clay got a warning last month. This time around, Until OCM was not as generous. And again, you guys stopped by a month ago, issued a violation, came back today, same behavior, now they're padlocked. Correct. So what happens next? OCM calls in local locksmiths to lock up the shops and leave the keys with officers who say they're not only safeguarding the cannabis market, but also the community. When you go into a legal licensed dispensary in New York State, uh, you can be assured that the products have been tested and they're, they're safe for consumption. Businesses can request an emergency appeal of a shutdown and a judge can hear their case and reverse the decision if they so choose. All right, listen to these stats that Rachel got her hands on. As of this morning, 231 illegal cannabis shops have been padlocked statewide. More than 6,000 pounds of illegal cannabis products have been seized. That's right, and to take a closer look at the 22 pot shops shut down right here in central New York, I created an interactive map that you can check out right now at localsyr.com.